Well, this is a bit of a quick late night video. Uh, a couple of days ago, DxO announced a new version of DxO Pure Raw, which I use for processing my photographs. If you've never used it, it is a raw processing piece of software that uses various lens and camera profiles uh, calibrated by DxO to improve the photos from your camera. So it will do certain lens corrections, certain camera corrections, and it will reduce noise and sharpen your photographs. I have used this for a couple of years. I used version one with Canon 7D Mark II. I've used version two with the OM-1 and now with the Fuji X-H2S. And now version three has been announced and apparently it has improved support for Fuji cameras. So let's go and have a look. I've got an example photograph and I'm kind of curious to see the results that come out of this new version and whether it's worth the fairly substantial upgrade price, which appears to be at this point effectively a yearly subscription with this software because a new version comes out each year that requires a paid upgrade for about £70 if you own a previous version. Okay, here's my demo photograph. So this is a photo of a mallard in flight. It was flying perpendicular to me and I have a whole sequence of it, but this is the one I like the best. It's got a nice wing shape and he's giving you a cunning little smile. So I quite like it. And this is how it looks straight out of the camera, I suppose. This is after it's been imported into Lightroom and it looks fine. I have the noise reduction turned down in the camera, so it's very noisy. This was shot at ISO 12800. This is something I do a lot for wildlife photography because it's frequently quite dark by me. So this is as it is and I've got the settings that I've applied to the two DxO versions as well. And if I apply them to this one, you can see that it's got a lot of color noise once you change the colors and things like that. It's really quite, um, quite nasty. And so you can adjust this in Lightroom and you can get a fairly decent result still just by adjusting this color slider. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, you know, that's all right. But it, you can see as you adjust the color noise slider that the mallard colors itself start to disappear and also start to bleed into the surrounding environment. And so I can't get a good result really with this. I think around 10 or 11, that's 11, spinal tap. Uh, this is probably about the best that I can get in Lightroom and it's introduced a little bit of a blur as well. So I like to use DxO Pure Raw. Topaz AI also does this very well. And what I like to do is to use DxO to process my raw files because it is a very good job in particular of making the noise more palatable. And so this is the version from DxO Pure Raw 2. You can see it made a slight lens distortion change. But if you zoom in, you'll see that it hasn't actually removed all of the noise. It's kind of left it in there, but lowered the contrast on the noise a lot. It's done a little bit of sharpening as well. And I like the result of this. I like that there is still that bit of noise in the photograph. When you're zoomed all the way out, you can't really see that. It's just adding a little bit of texture to that photograph. And I'm happy with the result of this. So I was very curious to see what DxO Pure Raw 3 does to this photo. And if I swap to the new versions, this is processed with DxO Pure Raw version 3 Deep Prime XD. At a distance, it just looks a bit brighter almost, like a bit sharper. And that's really what it has done. But if I go back to the previous photograph and zoom in, and you can see the effect that the previous version and the standard Deep Prime processing has, and then go through to Deep Prime XD, you will see that it has removed a lot of the noise and 
everything looks very smooth. You can particularly see it around the beak shape. Let's swap back to the previous one. So previously the beak kind of has like a soft edge and it's got texture in these lines and around the nostril and that sort of area. But in the new version, it's almost much more solid. So that blurry edge is in fact more of a solid edge and all of the details are much sharper. But I find this a little bit weird. It's a good effect. It's done a very good job of sharpening this and cleaning it up. And from when you're zoomed out, you can't really tell. But there is something that that texture provides a photograph for me as somebody who started on film. It looks a little bit uncanny when you have a photograph that is effectively perfect. It just doesn't look quite natural. There is no doubt that the effect is or the processing has been very good from this new version but there is something a little bit odd. And that's the major difference that I've noticed. So going from the, uh, the raw photograph to deep prime, I think this is a very good improvement. I think that this processing works very well for the photograph, but from the deep prime to the deep prime XD, I'm not so sure. I think it will, ultimately come down to personal preference, but that is the major difference between the two. And so if you already own DxO Pure Raw version 2 and you don't like this effect, I probably wouldn't upgrade. But if you do, well, go go ahead. You know, it's personal preference at the end of the day. I find that this looks a lot more similar to how Topaz AI processes the photos. Well, I hope that's of some use to you if you're considering DxO Pure Raw either as a new user or as a uh, existing user and you're debating whether to upgrade or not. I think for my own personal use case at the moment, I'm a bit undecided. I don't really love that rubbery painterly effect that you get from completely texture-free photographs. It's one of the reasons why I don't use Topaz AI, even though I also own that, I find that the final results look a little bit weird. They don't really look like natural photographs. They look like a painting almost of a photograph. And obviously you can adjust that using settings. And it's the same here with Pure Roll. You can use just the deep prime mode rather than the deep prime XD. But I already have the deep prime mode for Fuji on my existing copy of Pure Raw 2. So a little bit undecided, but I do have the free trial for the rest of the month. And I have an idea that I'd like to play with about reintroducing texture into that photograph. And it's something that having such a clean image might actually allow me to do better. So I think that will probably be my next video. Um, thank you very much for watching this one. Until next time.